all right gang with season five approaching we need to cover settings because usually when these big updates come out we see a bunch of different changes and usually if you can stay ahead of the curve on top of the ball with changes they've made prior and prior seasons uh, it gives you a little bit of an edge i feel like when it comes to P if you're on pc having like the perfect uh, graphic settings or perfect controller settings mouse and key settings whatever it may be really makes a difference in this game and customizing them to your liking so what i did when i made my settings i watched one of these videos i can't remember whose video i watched this was years ago and then from there i used that as a base and i kind of changed small stuff here and there to make it my own so that's what this is here for today starting off with we got controller uh, i use tactical flipped with flip l1 and r1 so i shoot with the bumpers and then my triggers are the lethal so stun grenades and simtex everything like that and then i don't do like any other custom button layout other than the tactical which makes you slide with uh, the right stick and melee with the circle button or b if you're on xbox which i've programmed to paddles on the back bumper ping is off stick layout preset is default no controller vibration i've noticed that without controller vibration you are definitely more accurate there's no distractions your thumbs not sitting there vibrating uh, you can get the pure shot you possibly can without controller vibration i will stand by that horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity at 6 6 a lot of people think they need to like yam it up to 10 12 whatever 20 if you can go that high and it's comfortable for you it works for you by all means do your thing but for me personally i noticed if the sensitivity is too high and i go to turn on someone and i overlook them and have to go back to that person it's not worth it i save more time just taking my time to get around than overcompensating and then going back uh, so 6-6 six, six works for me i notice a lot of like the really really good players in the world like the top guys um use a lower stick sensitivity absolutely sensitivity multiplayer for everything is just at 1.0 vertical aim axis is all on standard and on site behaviors on hold uh zoom shared inputs on sprint tactical sprint focus uh, we got automatic tax sprint on i only turn off auto tax sprint if i'm using a hip fire build whether it's uh the auto shoddy the dual pistols right now the basilisk you gotta use auto tax sprint if not you have to hold down uh, your jump button so you jump and then continue to hold the button and then you you know you will automatically tax sprint you can use those weapons but it's a little more inconvenient so i usually turn off auto tax sprint when i'm using a hip fire build uh, prioritize interact is the same as contextual touch uh, so i recommend doing that you open up boxes doors get in vehicles everything one tap and then you hold to reload armor plate behavior apply all you can always cancel that animation i feel like every time i make one of these videos people are like oh you can't cancel it you can definitely cancel you can't cancel a reload but you can cancel armor plate behavior 100 percent going on to advance uh, for our target aim assist aim assist type set to default uh, aim response curve type set to dynamic ads sensitivity multiplayer for focus is on 0.95 ads sensitivity transition timing is on instant custom sensitivity for zoom is going to be at 0.93 for anything from low zoom to a three times four times and up i leave at 1.0 i usually write all everything over three times as sniping at that point and i like having it a little faster when i snipe uh, my dead zones are at 0 0.04 on my left and right and I made sure to maximize left stick and right stick. Looks like they have trigger dead zones now. How much of the trigger needs to be pressed to be considered? Honestly, you can make that all the way down. Like make that as minimal as possible. And that way it's just an absolute tap to do anything. But for me personally, I'm using bumpers, so they're already instantaneous. So uh, it really doesn't make that big of a difference right now for me. But if you're not using, you know, bumpers, if that's uh you know you don't have an option for scuff or whatever the case may be on an xbox controller and it's uncomfortable i would do that auto move forwards off ground mantles on plunging underwater is set to movement invert slide and dive behavior inverted 100 percent so instead of having to hold down your crouch button to dive you tap it and you dive you hold it to slide I'm telling you you'll get out of so many more gunfights by switching that one setting right there Ledge hang mantle behaviors on mantle only. Let's see. Uh, weapon mount exit delay set to short. No one uses C4s. Equip detonation is chat. Doesn't matter. 
And that's really everything for that. Let's go on over to graphics now. So under graphics for quality, I literally play everything like low, like everything is just set to turbo super low uh, because I'm looking for maximum performance. I don't care about quality. I don't care about how it looks. I do play 1440p, uh, but I run everything low. So anti-aliasing, video memory scale, everything like that. Low, normal, low, low, short, low, low, off, off, low, off, off, low, low, off, default, very low, off, low, high, low, off, off, low off 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 and 0, 0.00 and warzone 1 putting your film grain to 0 0.01 actually apparently it made like an fps difference in this game it has no effect there's no effect at all and then of course on view 120th of v set it to affected not independent and set your gun setting your weapon field of view to wide it makes the weapon smaller which entails gives you even more or less visual recoil also allows you to see more on your screen at once. Uh, vehicle field of view of it is wide. It makes the vehicle look smaller. So uh, view as in like further from you, I guess. Uh, first person camera movement is going to be set to least. And so it's third person. I just went ahead and set camera movement to least on all of that. And the default spectrum camera is going to be set to game perspective. Audio is probably the most lackluster setting in this game. There's not much you can do. I use mine as just headphones. I don't set it to PC or anything. I just flat out headphones. Master volume, uh, gameplay's off, like music volume, dialogues at 70 so I can hear, you know, precision callouts. Voice chat volumes at half because people spam the mics. Uh, effect volumes at 100. Cinematic music zero. And then Warchex volumes at 100. But with that being said, I have music off anyways, so you're not going to hear uh any music regardless uh i have it my astro set to game and uh voice so when i adjust on my mix amp i can you know make the party louder the game louder just with a knob over there um initial microphone input is I, it's just going to be default push to talk i don't like having an open mic uh reduced tinnitus sounds huge it gets rid of the ringing from flashbangs percussions um and then how Hit marker sound effects is going to be set to classic. A uh, mute game when minimized. That's just a PC setting if you're on Xbox. Don't worry about that. And then Juggernaut music again. We cannot hear that. There's one more setting I want to show you guys, and it's going to be under interface. We're going to go all the way down to where are we at? Damage based hit markers are on 100%. Hit visuals, crosshairs, all that's on. Compass is on. Symmetry, where is she at? I think we just passed it. Inverted flash. So when you get flashed, instead of your screen going white, it goes black. It goes dark. I like it. I feel like I can see people easier when it starts to wear off compared to the flash. And it doesn't just blast your eyes when you're playing late at night. You know, sometimes a flash goes off and you feel like you got hit in real life. No, no, no. Invert it. It goes dark. It is way better on the eyes. I'm telling you, it's a super vibe. Try it out. Gang, I hope these settings help. I hope you're ready for season five. Uh, I know I'm pumped. It's going to be a big change. We'll see. Uh, We'll just have to see when it comes, I guess. If you're new to the channel, enjoy the content, hit that sub button, crush that like button, and catch you all tomorrow for another video. Let's get it again.